Hey guys, it's Lance with another Board Game Breakdown. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Brass Birmingham. This re-release of a uh, great heavy economic Euro game from 2007 is a reimagination of the systems in Brass and a reintroduction for people who are not familiar with the series. So let's dive into it. This re-release by Roxley uh, takes the 2007 edition of Brass and polishes it up and in Birmingham, you're going to be playing on a completely different map with completely different mechanics, uh, but there's still some familiarity for those who are um, used to the old systems. So in the box, you're going to get, of course, some nice storage there with the bags, and your two, or two sets of player tokens for score, treat, score tracking and turn tracking purposes. Uh, throughout the board, you're going to find different punch outs that give you your currency. Um, and later in the year, we should have the iron clays available for purchase that were on the Kickstarter, so keep an eye on our website for that. With the production quality on this game, they really did go over the top. Each player board has two sides on it that are both identical functionally, but provide both a day and a night side on the board that allow players to choose which side they want to play on. And this is mirrored onto the main board as well, allowing players to choose either a night theme or a day theme, and that's entirely cosmetic. Uh, because this game was kickstarted, Roxley was really able to go the extra mile, and now it's got a full retail release with all the bonuses that you saw there. Delving into the box a little deeper, we've got our sets of cards. This will contain all of the information, including player reminders for the different resources, as well as the different areas on the board, which you'll be using during gameplay in order to interact with the different cities and towns in Birmingham. Each of the resources in the game is represented by these nice wooden tokens, other than the pottery resource, which has punch outs down below. You have these barrels for the beer resource that's used to lubricate sales and allow people to get products to market. And then you have your iron and coal cubes that are used much like traditional brass. The rule book features a full summary of all the components included. A bit of fluff about different industrialists that are uh, present in the time period of Brass Birmingham, and these are actual real life figures. You have a nice board setup that will walk you through how to get the board set up for two to four players so that you can play brass over the course of an evening. And then you have an in-depth round summary that will walk you through player turns and get you through between the two eras that happen during brass, as well as an explanation of all the action phases that you're gonna be taking during the course of the game. Next thing that you find in the box is a set of punch outs that include the different buildings and resource tiles that you'll be using during the course of your brass game, in addition to the railroads. And the each of these is colored for the individual players and matches the player boards that are presented as well. Finally, in the box, you're gonna receive a nice full color board matching the player boards that has both a night side and a day side, allowing players to choose whichever side they would like to play on, entirely for cosmetic purposes. Over the course of the game, players will be competing to build out industry across the map, gain resources of both coal and iron, which are priced in a market based on the supply that's provided by players and the demand of what's used by players. Over the first six turns, players will be building canal networks in between the different areas, scoring victory points based on how they are able to hook those up to the different areas where goods can be sold throughout the map. And this is randomized each time to help prevent the game from being too written or too easy to solve. Then, over the last couple of turns, players will have to turn from using the canal systems, which will become obsolete as rail is introduced, allowing different areas that were harder to access on the map to become easier to access and other areas that were easy to access on the map a little bit more difficult. Gameplay should take about two hours to two and a half hours on your first playthrough, and then we'll streamline from there. I re recommend Brass Birmingham to players who are already familiar with moderate to heavy economic Euro games and are looking for something that can get them into heavier games and want a transition point that isn't too dry. With Birmingham, the introduction of several new mechanics, including the beer and the uh, variable points on the canal systems, it makes it much more forgiving to new players, allowing them the opportunity to kind of 
eke in on markets that would be much more easy to solve in a more traditional or in the original version of brass. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, this has been Lance with the Board Game Breakdown. Uh, this has been Brass Birmingham. And if you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and like the video so that we know that that's what you guys want to see and we can get more of it out for you. Thanks.